so here we are in photoshop so first of all we need to import the images so go to file open and select the subject open this in photoshop so this is our subject so first of all i am gonna apply a blur effect to the background so select the background layer and make a copy of this by pressing ctrl j make a copy of two times now this is our original background hide this as a backup now let's rename this layer double click of this layer and change the layer name to subject and this one blur now hide the blur layer for a while and make the active subject layer now we need to make a selection of this baby now take the quick selection tool from here and start making a selection of his him you don't need to be 100 percent accurate just try to make a better selection <laughs> So our selection is ready. Now select the subject layer and add a layer mask from here. As you can see now our subject is in a different layer and this is our blur background. Now hide the subject layer from for a while and select the blur layer. Now we need to delete the subject from this layer now select this blur layer and hold control and make a click here the subject mask here as you can see as you can see the subject is being selected now go to select modify and expand now I'm gonna expand this selection by 20 pixel now hit an ok as you can see the selection is expanded now go to edit fill and in this contents select content error and hit an ok now as you can see our subject is removed from this layer now go to select and deselect the selection now as you can see our subject and the background both are in different layer now we are ready to apply the blur effect now select the blur layer go to filter blur gallery and tilt shift now here you can adjust the blur amount now for this particular image 100 pixel is good enough now adjust this slider to now now I am happy with this result now hit on ok so the blur effect has been applied to these photographs now click this adjustment layer from here and select curves now take this take down this slider like this and close this now select this mask of this curve layer and take the brush from here a regular brush make sure that the foreground color is black now I'm gonna deleting this effect, this darkness from her, his face and here as well. 
now keep the opacity around 50% and flow around 50% now make click here to delete this effect from this here now from his face now hold control and make a click here in this subject mask to make a selection of this subject now delete this darkness from this area Now press Ctrl D to deselect this selection. As you can see, this is before and this is after. Now I am gonna add the light. Now create a new layer from here and change this layer name to light. Now click here and set the foreground color is 100% black and take the paint bucket tool from here and fill this with 100% black now go to filter render and lens flare here you have a lot of options to choose from I'm gonna selecting the 105 mm prime lens now you can adjust the brightness of this light so in my case 100 is good enough keep it here in this right corner and hit on ok as you can see now change this layer mode normal to screen as you can see our light is here now we need to colorize this light now select this light and go to image adjustment hue and saturation now as you can see if you change this slider this not gonna change anything now make a, select this colorize option now if we change this this is gonna be changed now keep this a uh, orangish color and increase its saturation a little bit around 50 and make it like this once you are happy hit on ok now you can press ctrl t and adjust the light like you can make it bigger smaller confirm it now our light lights has been added now select this subject and make a new layer from here just above the subject and right click of this layer and create clipping mask so that whatever we do this only affect the uh, subject now take the brush from here now hold alt and take sample color from the sun here as you can see this is our color now start painting the highlighted area keep the opacity 100% highlighted area of this little kit as you can see now change this layer mode normal to overlay as you can see this is before and this is after so now we need to delete this effect from the shadow area now right, double click of this layer and now the layer style is open up now in this blend if option the underlying layer if we take this slider to the right as you can see this effect is deleting from the shadow as you can see but this is too harsh we need to make it smooth now hold alt and make a click here as you can see this is spilt into two part now take one part to the right and adjust this slider to make it a smooth transition now hit on ok 
as you can see this was before and this is after so our basic editing is done now I'm gonna add the lips now go to file open and here is our lips now open this now this is our lips now take the mop tool from here and take these lips to this original can documents now as you can see this is our lips now press ctrl T and make it bigger a little bit now uh, keep it here now confirm it right click of this layer and convert to a smart object so that we can edit it later now I'm gonna applying a blur effect to these lips now go to filter blur and Gaussian blur now keep the radius uh, around 20 I think it's uh, too much keep the radius 10 okay now as you can see here you have a mask select this mask take the brush and delete the blur effect from here here as well to make a realistic now add a layer mask to this layer from here and select the mask and I'm gonna delete this effect from his face so I am happy with this result now go to the lips document and take the lasso tool from here and make a selection of this leaf and take the move tool from here and move this on our main documents and keep this here press ctrl T and make it bigger now confirm it now go to fil filter blur and Gaussian blur now apply the radius 50 press ctrl T again and make it bigger now confirm it so our editing is completely done now we will play with the highlight and contrast and the colors now click this adjustment layer and select color balance now here switch to the shadow and in this shadow in this darken area I'm gonna applying a little bit of bluish color uh, tan and uh, add a little bit of cyan keep it minus 10 and switch to the highlights in highlights give minus 30 yellow color and hit close this as you can see this is before and this is after now click here and select curves and here in this RGB channel make it make a three dot one here and one dot here and one here now take down this dot a little bit and this one a little bit and bring up these highlights a little bit and in this slider take up this slider to give a faded effect to the shadows as you can see not too much a little bit now close this as you can see this was before and this is after so in this final step click here and select levels and in this output clip I'll keep 10 As you can see this is before and this is after so now make visible the background layer the original layer 
and hold alt and you can see the before and the after so this was before and this is after so i hope you like this tutorial if you do please subscribe thank you